Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a mom and this is my son, Ethan. And we like to watch and react to TV shows and movies, mostly geeky content, action movies and such. And today we are starting a new series and we're actually condensing it quite a bit. We're mm. going to watch Arcane season one because season two is coming out later this year or next yes. year? This year. This it year. It should be, okay. I think, November. Okay. So we're watching season one. And uh, we did watch it, so this is a rewatch. Uh, I have only seen it once. Uh, I am not familiar with League of Legends at all, and so this is brand new for me. It is animated, but Ethan I, knows everything about it. <laughs> I've been playing League for eight years. I had a stint to where I was sober somewhere in like I don't know 2018, but I uh, relapsed during COVID, and. Uh, I'm back into the hobby. Yeah, yeah. It's worse yeah, than alcohol. Sucked, sucked, sucked back into this League of Legends, um, this hobby. So, um, yeah. So we're starting this series. We're going to do three episodes at a time because apparently... It's broken into acts. Right. It's broken into three acts of three episodes each, so it's very tightly condensed. Right. Very nice. Right. So we're going to be watching and reacting to all three episodes. And I don't know yet whether I'm going to be releasing it individually or like per episode or just like one to three. But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll decide how it goes. But I'm excited. A lot of if you decide to do it all at once, so editing. So I think I think I'll probably release it separately. But I am looking forward to it. I do remember that the animation was great. Thank you. The animation was great, um, and the storyline was really good. I liked the characters. I was really unfamiliar with who was who, um, so. You know, but he told me everything, so... The best part about Arcane is that you do not need any League knowledge to watch it. I would actually argue that it's better that you don't know any League really? knowledge. Really? I would actually... I can tell you fully why once the whole thing's over. Okay. But... That's fair. I feel like it is an experience best enjoyed without knowledge first. Huh. And okay. then, once you rewatch it, you can be like... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. All right. So let's get started in three, two, one. Intro. Oh, no. While it says a Netflix series, Netflix is just a distributor. This was made by Studio Fortiche and financed by Ryan. So not because I've seen a lot of people talk about how mm. this Netflix made an amazing show. It's not Netflix. Gotcha. So, want to make sure proper credit. That's Let's important. Bad man. This is a bad man. It looks like a stormtrooper. So bad. <laughs> Is that her mom? That was that, that that was on the ground. Just so that you know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue haired is named Powder. The little one. Yes, the okay. little one is okay. named Powder. Okay. And the pink haired girl uh -huh. is named Vi. Vi. Okay, she's Vi. Okay. 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 Uh, you'll learn the other people's w with time, but those, those two are the two most of the main. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, Powder. Come take a look. Sisters? Actual question. Okay. Voice oh. actor. It's a flying ship. That's cool. It's very um. What do you call that? Punk. Uh, no. Steampunk. Steampunk aesthetic. Yes. All right, everybody, follow me. Just don't look down. I would. Hello. Damn. Can Powder jump? She's so little. Powder, look at me. What did I tell you? That I'm ready. That's right. Come on, kiddo. You can do it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, phew. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, your eyes, stupid. She's just a little girl. She made it, didn't she? Oh, anyway. <laughs> he could have just said, good job, you know? You gonna get that door open anytime soon? Working on it. Seeing as I'm the only one who knows how to pick locks, I suggest... <laughs> you could do that, too. If you don't know what they are, they could be anything. I think this is a real Valdiani. 
That's cool. Oh, yeah. What about this? That's a nose hair trimmer. <laughs> Whose nose is that big? I don't know. What the heck? Those are cool, though. What are they? How is it they have so much time? Most uh, most thieves are in and out, you know, in a couple minutes. Snatch and grab. I guess not. Dude! She's taking all of them? <gasps> Uh-oh. What is that? What is that? It was a bomb! Oh! <gasps> run, 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 run! Oh. oh my gosh! What the heck kind of blue thing was that bomb thing? Oh my god. Oh, you can always, you can always die in another color. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what is that? That's a bolo. Oh man. Ooh! Man, I just got this shirt! Oh, okay, that's one way to do it. Well, face first. Oh, that's gotta be nasty. Oh. oh, would not want to be face first. Oh. Oh. It's like Star Wars, trash compactor. <laughs> Alright, waiting for the monster. Yes. We just emptied a Piltover penthouse right under the Enforcer's noses. So, if you're done beating yourselves up, let's get this home. I don't understand. That blue bomb was so sensitive. She's carrying a whole bunch just in a pouch. Like, how is that not blowing up? How about you share a little taste of your treasure there, and we'll call it even. Just a taste? Just a <laughs> I need to do that. Ooh! Wow. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, big guy. She, she too, though. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Mm hmm. I guess so. This is street fighting. It's not like it's, you know. Yes, this isn't exactly trained martial arts. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Maybe not. Don't be dumb. Live to fight another day? Yeah. Where's Powder? I hope she's running towards safety and not running randomly. Does that answer your question? Oh, I guess not. Uh. Uh. Oh no, she's gonna lose everything, isn't she? Oh shit. Oh no, they're gonna be pissed at her. Not good. You did what? I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. The stuff's gone. It's all right, Powder. At least you're okay. Every time she comes, something goes wrong. She jinxes every job. Oh, Just trust it, she jinx. It's like a whole world down here. Mm -hmm. How do you access this? Underground? This is like the what's the what's that book with the top people who live on the above ground, people who live below ground. Bit of advice. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. What the hell were you thinking? That we can handle a real job. A real job? We got our own tip, planned a route, nobody even saw. You blew up a building. We stay out of Piltover's business. Why? They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. Well, people look up to you. You don't get to be selfish. But whatever happens, it's on you. It's true. We make ourselves a problem for Piltover, and they will send the enforcers. So? These are our streets. Someone should remind them of You're that. You're not hearing me. That path, this, it's not going to solve your problems. Oh, you did put that idiot on his ass, though. <laughs> That's what matters. Typical dad. Yeah. All right, you're safe. Okay, you did beat that guy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> she made a mistake. Name one time she has. She's young. Don't oh, bullshit me. You were twice the person at half range. You know what, Milo? You're right. There's a bunch of things Powder just can't do. Powder's my problem, okay? Your problem is never knowing when to shut up. But I'm gonna help you with that. You see this look on my face? This will always mean it's time to shut up. But I... <laughs> <laughs> Typical trope. You never stay for the full conversation. Yes, and then you he only miss hear... overheard, yes. Ugh. Some trench or trash attacked one of the buildings in the academy district. But you already knew that. 
We're looking for the card prints. Got a description? I remember. I love the actress who voices her. Very unique voice. Yeah. Yes, very unique, but I love the actress. Those who did this will be dealt with. That workshop belonged to the Kermans. Kerman? The council yeah. needs someone to make an example of. We had a deal, and you keep your people off my street, and I stay out of your business. Seems like a good deal. You want to talk about today? What's the point? I ruined everything. Nobody said that. No, just that you were twice the person at half my age. Look, I've got these, and you've got those. They never work. They will. What are those? What is she trying to make work? Bombs. Oh. When I was a kid, some guy took my favorite toy and threw it up there. I used Aww. to come over at night and stare at it. We've all had bad days, but we learn. And we stick together. Oh, she's a good big sister. These were in my pocket. They're from the apartment. What are they? Uh, bombs. I don't know. She remember she didn't realize that no. one dropped uh, and caused the explosion. Keep that in mind. They don't know. Let's keep this our little secret. The kids. It was their fault. The explosion in the upper city. That was them. Yeah. Who's he? Okay, the cat's gonna make you think so. Oh, the it's gonna turn into like a baby monster or something. Ooh, oh yeah, cat run. Oh no, there's nowhere to run. What am I saying? <gasps> okay. Okay, so let me just first clear up some things. So there, it basically is two cities. Right. The you can have the top side or Piltover. Okay. Upside, whatever you want to call it. They're the haves, right. the have-nots. They're you can call them the underground, the lanes, whatever. They're literally below them. Right. And they're the have-nots. Okay. So I just wanted to clear that up because they they, they keep on saying different names for it. Like right, upside, right, right, right. I, I figured side, that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So most of the time, though, they'll say Piltover okay. and then the lanes. Okay. Top, bottom, all right? Okay. Um, so I had questions. So one, in the very beginning when they were very, very little and this big dude, he had like two hammers in his hands. That was Vander, right? Yes. And was that like a rebellion against the top side and that's where the that's why they were fighting? Or like, they, what was there a war or something? Or like... I guess you don't have to tell me if it's if I'm gonna it's spoil it. A, it's to explained, that. I believe, in like episode. It's explained in like episode okay. two, so you'll okay. get that. So I'll later. Get it. Okay. Um, so I guess Vander adopted them or took in these street kids, and yeah, they, all, all uh, he know we know he adopted uh, Vine Hi. Outer. Technically speaking, we do not know if Clagger and Milo are the actual kids or whether he adopted them too. Okay. I, I I think the consensus is that they're all all four of them are adopted. Okay. But they steal for him, basically, right? Or do jobs for him? No, this was no? this was them trying to, in an act of rebellion, basically, like, do a job by themselves. Like, do oh. a job, basically. What do they usually do then for him? What do I... <laughs> Keep in mind, Mom, they're kids. They're not I employees. Guess, I know, no, I mean, because, you know, like, a lot of times, like, you know, in movies or TV shows, right? Like, you have someone who... Who basically and not employs, but is like the parent to all these street urchins or street kids, and they like pickpocket, they run street scams, they do whatever it is to bring money to. It's the person. never is it like that. It's never it's never shown to be like that. I oh, think okay. most most people assume that it's basically just they wanted they were tired of being babied or whatever, and they wanted to prove that they had the the chops to be like an adult. Okay, so. Uh, Vander obviously like runs the lanes. He has a relationship or an, an understanding with Grayson, the enforcer, the head, the, right? Yeah, the, the head enforcer, enforcer, or, the enforcer, who I love. The actress, I, I loved her. The most recent thing I saw her in was The Expanse, excellent sci-fi series on Prime Video. I may react to it if I have time. I'm going to put it in a poll because that is probably one of the best sci-fi series. Um, you're gonna roll me into it. Awesome. Yes, I am. But you're gonna really enjoy it because it's very scientifically accurate. Like, if you like that, whatever. But the characters are amazing, and she's amazing. And 
I love her. So for, for me, I like her. For me, I remember I recognized her voice oh. from Mass Effect. It's a video game, also oh. sci-fi. Oh. Oh. And uh, so, that so that's where I recognized her from. So who was the voice that you asked me that I thought I recognized? Was that Vi's voice? Yeah. I didn't recognize her voice. Who was it? I don't remember her name. But I know she played a lead role in Mar in a Marvel TV show, I think. It's not Ming Na Wen. No. She's older, so it wouldn't be Vi. What was it? Arcane by V. Haley Steinfeld. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I can kind of see it. Okay. She's cool. I like Haley Steinfeld. She's so yeah. Cool. I, yeah. I, Steinfeld? Yeah. Steinfeld? Steinfeld. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so okay. yeah, that was just something I, I thought you would recognize. Uh, I thought you would recognize it, but yeah, there you go. Unless it's distinctive, I I, I wouldn't recognize it necessarily. But um, okay, yeah, so I I understand they 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 did the job. So obviously they said that this is a house or whatever they waited. What was it they did they call Kirkerman? Kirkerman. Kirkerman. So what significance is Kirkerman? Is this a, is this a in, it's in the academy, so obviously this is someone who's a academic or professor or well known or well whatever like important person top side. You'll get more. You'll get okay. more info uh, in episode two okay. because episode okay. two starts basically from the guy who got raided point of view. Oh, uh, okay, okay, right? okay. So you'll get more info on that, but you are in the correct direction. Yes, okay. basically like an academic. Okay, okay, that's that's what I got from it. Yes. Um, and obviously, at the end, this bad guy is experimenting on something that turns people or animals into like crazy monsters. Like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is the rat alive after the transformation? Can you tell me that? We never see it. You never see it. Okay. We and don't know that whether poor that... cat. R.I.P. Cat. Furless cat. I really hate those cats, but they didn't deserve that kind of death. Mm. <laughs> You know? Seriously, I don't understand why <laughs> those furless cats exist. Uh, uh, it's, it's just a breed, whatever, but I'm just saying that I, they look so ugly and whatever, but it did not deserve that mm. death. They thought it was going to get a meal, right? It was going to jump on the rat and it was all good, but nope, turned into the me actual meal itself, so... Imagine you're eating some, like, chicken <sighs> wings and then they all of a sudden turn into a chicken and try and eat you. Yeah, it's bad. It's very, very bad. So, um... So yeah, okay, so this was a good episode. There are a lot of questions, obviously, because I'm not familiar with the story, but but my what I remember and what I'm seeing is the animation is amazing. The voice acting is, is really, really good. And um, I like the storyline so far. It pulled me in. It engaged me by kind of me empathizing with these two young girls. Obviously, Powder um, is little, and Vi is a very good big sister, I must say. She's very encouraging, she supports her, she pushes her when she needs it, like when they're on the roof, but she also supports her, defends her, and backs her up, so I think Vi is a great big sister. Oh, I can't wait until episode three. Okay, but anyway, so I, don't tell me, you're gonna spoil it, so, so I, I'm really liking Vi and Powder, that relationship, and um, Powder obviously looks up to Vi and, um, you know, she has a complex, right? Because she's getting blamed by Milo mostly, but I'm sure other people, she's heard from other people too, where mm -hmm. she's a jinx, basically. She messes things up. She never gets things right. She's always in her sister's shadow. She's going to get an inferiority complex, right? Like, so, and those kind of younger siblings that have that kind of always in your older sibling's shadow kind of over overcompensate and kind of feel like they have to prove themselves, really. And so... Sometimes I feel like that can take them in not good ways or not good roads down good paths, you know, like because, um, you know, it depends. It, but it helps that Vi is so supportive and obviously loves her sister. If she was a crap big sister and was the one telling her that you're crap, you're a jinx, you can't do anything right, da da da, obviously it would be worse, right? But I would just like to step in. One thing I yeah. did really like about it was. Uh, how they had that whole mis under mis misheard trope where or the yeah, thing, but yeah. then they resolve it in the same episode where where when Vide talks to Jinx and Jinx brings up oh uh, when Jinx or not that yeah uh, yeah when Powder brings up what uh, Milo said yeah yeah and yeah, then yeah. Vide basically says everyone has crap days even yeah, even yeah, Milo yeah. and Clagger yeah 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 right yeah. so I, I like how they how she basically. Uh, explained herself, in essence, right? Well, I don't know if she explained herself. Because what she overheard was her sister agreeing with Milo. 
But then she basically says not everyone, or let me put it this way. She at least, I feel she still at least understands that uh, Powder heard it. Yeah. And is like, okay, I need to cheer her up instead of just just letting it fester. Right, 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 right. And letting it grow. Which is something that I don't see too often. That's true. They didn't let, they didn't get it too tropey and they addressed it, which is good. One more thing that I did like, uh, sorry for talking to you, but one more thing that I did like, like, just off episode one, um, in that fight between basically Deckard and his crew and Mm Vi and her crew, was that Vi got beat up. She had, she got beat up. All the crew basically yeah, took some punches. They all did, yeah. Barring like powder, but she lost right. the she lost the, the loot. Right. But it's not like she just that Vi just like effortlessly won, no scratches, yes, perfectly yes. fine. No, 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 no. She got that slow mo, pa. Yeah, in her, right in the face, man. Wow. Bro. That slow mo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, no, no. She, she, she got. Yeah. She got hit. Yeah, she yeah. She gave yeah. hits and she took hits. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was realistic, right? And yeah. I think uh, I think we talked about it because she's a teenager, right? She's not a martial arts expert. This was down in dirty street fighting. And obviously, she's known to be a better fighter, right? Because everyone's yeah. asking, like, yeah, did I kick their ass, right? So I think she's known to be a fighter, but it's not like she's invincible. It's not like she has yes. money for training or whatever. It's a very realistic portrayal of a teenager living on the streets. Um, she's not so far above these right, people. Right. Like, or so naturally gifted that right. she just knocks them up flat on their asses right, without right, taking right. a hit. You know? Right, right. So in that way, it's, it's realistic. So she's do, not so like OP, like right? Is that like, what you call it? OP? Like, overpowered, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that, that's just something I really enjoyed because, I I mean, like, while it's cool to see, like, characters, like, completely mm. destroy, like, the enemy. Yeah. I don't like it when it starts out like that. Mm. I, I'm fine with it if it ends with the character yes, being because there's overpowered. growth, right? Because there's a, there's because no most of the time you've seen growth, right? I hate it. I absolutely hate it when you start out OP. What about if you start out OP, get brought down, and then go back up to OP? Fine with me. Okay, but you want to see some movement. I want to see growth. Too much okay. nowadays. There's no growth. Right. Most no, uh, I agree. a lot of like stuff nowadays. It's like you start out here, yeah, and then you just stay there, right? And I don't like that because I don't see growth. What I also don't like, and I think we may see this in Avatar. I don't know. We are doing Avatar after the that's series. That's the reason just why. FYI. That's why we're condensing it. Yes, right? but the reason why I'm a little concerned is because, like to your point, we want to see growth. And if Sokka is already a nice dude, or you know, is not the sexist. Oh, uh, uh, you know. Small spoilers for Avatar. This is what someone oh, yeah. said on the someone said about how they basically removed Sokka's sexism. Yeah, which we feel is detrimental to his character because right. that was a part of Sokka. He grew up in a village where all the men left for war. He is quite literally probably the oldest like male in his in in his literal Eskimo village. Mm-hmm. Where they basically reverted to hunter gatherers, mm-hmm. where Sokka's the only like teenager, teenage male there. So of course he's going to believe males are be- males are better at fighting. Women should stick to the whatever the housework, whatever, right? But if you just so obviously he's going to have those beliefs, and he gets and later in Avatar he gets his ass kicked by multiple women, including his sister. Yep. And he learns to ditch those beliefs because they're BS. Yep. And he grows. Yep. But if you just make him not sexist from the beginning, none of that growth is there anymore. Yeah. It's just he was already be- he already believed women can fight. He already believed which they can, etc. And it's just yeah. like. But to be fair, we don't know, right? It may be they just toned it down, but it's still there. Or it may be they gave him some other characteristics that he has that growth arc to go to. I, we don't know because we haven't seen it yet. Obviously, Avatar is coming out, you know, in a couple weeks. But this is just what we've heard online. So that's what we're worried about. And I think that's what we're comparing to with Vi, right? Yes, that there right. is some, we're going to see some Gro- growth, right? And in, in who she was as a teenager, maybe as she gets older, we're going to see her grow in her fighting abilities and her character and things like that. So... I think it was a real. I, we like this portrayal. I think I've heard about Vi. I don't know a lot of the characters. Vi and Jinx. I know Powder becomes Jinx. I know why they now they yeah. call her Jinx. 
because that because everybody you Man, know, she used I, to think I, she I, was I, a jinx. It's so hard to just don't yeah. say anything. So yeah. Uh, but yes. Anyway, so I'm excited. Let's watch the next episode, and we hopefully you guys can join us. And if you like this reaction and our discussion of it, then please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.